Hello and welcome to this beautiful feast of the Epiphany, the twelfth day of Christmas. I want to ask you a question. What are your plans for next year, for the next five years? Does God have a plan for your life? Do God's plans coincide with your plans? And how do you decide whether they are or not? Today we hear St Paul saying, The plan for the mystery hidden for ages in God, who created all things. This was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord. So it's quite clear, God's plan is focused around Jesus Christ. The Magi were also clear, God had a plan. Even though they came from a distant land, They still knew about the Jewish hope for a king who would lead his people to freedom. And rightly or wrongly, they interpreted in the stars that that time had now come. They travelled the long and dangerous route to Jerusalem. And they asked Herod, the king of the Jews, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star as it was rising. And eventually they reached the inauspicious conclusion to their journey. They arrived not at a palace, not at the Jewish temple, and not in a place that smelt particularly wonderful. They arrived at a stable, stinking with cattle manure, surrounded by coarse shepherds, and about as far from the sanctity of the temple as you could imagine. Did they see this poverty-stricken, smelly urchin as living out the plan of God for the Jews? Surely they must have, for we are told they knelt down and paid him homage. And so God destroyed the power of the mess in that stable, the uncleanliness of the shepherds, and the sin of you and me, through the blood of his son Jesus on the cross. That's God's plan. He came close to us through Jesus to bring us close to him. St Paul discovered that God's plan for him was to tell the Gentiles, to tell the whole world that the God of the Jews was their God too. All that happened 2,000 years ago. Caesar has long since gone. Today we are stuck in the pandemic and our third lockdown. What's God's plan for us at this time? What is God's plan for you in particular? And does it coincide with your own plans in your life? What does this epiphany have to say to you and to me about all this? Well, first of all, we have a leader, a king, and it is Jesus Christ. And that means we have a hope and a direction, which the vast majority of people at this time do not seem to have. Secondly, we have conclusive proof that God is not leaving us on our own in this particular time of need, or at any other time, actually. He has come close to us. He has been born in poverty and in the danger of circumstances far worse than the ones we find ourselves in today. We have a friend to hold our hand through the degradation of COVID. And thirdly, we have a saviour who can transform sin into forgiveness, wipe our slate clean, and who can give us a new beginning, and who can transform death into life, and give hope that this closeness which which brings when we welcome Jesus into our hearts and kneel at the manger in homage, just like the Magi, continues through life and it gets even better in the kingdom of God. And not just for the Jews, not just for us who believe, but for all human beings. God did not just create the Jews, he did not just create humans, but he created all created things. And this is especially important for us to remember in the emergency that we have experienced 
all of last year and at the beginning of this year. But there is a sting in the tail, because bizarrely, all this rather good news that we want to tell people tends to upset them. It upset Herod. It upset the Pharisees. It upset the Romans. It upsets anyone who thinks that all they want is an easy life where they are in control. One of the things about this virus that we have learnt this year is that we are not in control. One of the things that prayer teaches us is that we get what we want, but the things tend to happen at the right time, even if that is really hard to see at the right time. We have to trust that this is God's planning for us. God bless you.